Hey guys, this is Chris Bate with Cheat the Game coming back at you. I was uh, going through and I was playing the Dead Space series. I just love that series. I, I already finished Dead Space 1, I got into Dead Space 2, and I got to uh, looking at some of the questions that were being sent to me, and uh, especially by, by my regulars. And, uh, and I've been asked the questions uh, about doing some vids on uh, these really hard to find values. And basically, what meaning, you know, you don't really have a specific bar or anything like that to go on. Let me show you what I got so far. This is Dead Space 2 that I'm in right now. And this is what I want to show you. I got infinite health, ammo, stasis always full, infinite air, infinite credits, infinite nodes. But every single one of these has some type of bar. Here's my health bar right here. It's on his back. And when I, you know, get hit, you know, I can see the bar decreasing. Here's my stasis bar. Now stasis, what that does is when you shoot that out, it, it kind of slows down the monster or whatever or whatever object. You know, kind of it's like it slows down time for a short period of time, then it goes back to full speed again. But I only get three shots with it, and then the stasis bar goes down. But even still, that's a bar that goes down. So I got to thinking, well, what if we uh, try to look up stasis duration? You know when I go to freeze the monster you know instead of having it just a certain amount of time he stays not really frozen but you know in slow motion but have him stay that way indefinitely instead of coming back out of it or I have to shoot him again like that and uh, I thought that would be a good thing because there is no bar to go on there is no numeric value to go on I've been asked this in the past say well how do I find some kind of value like that well you got to figure out and you got to understand the way the game is thinking obviously it's a timer value because you know there's a certain amount of time that he's lasting in that stasis so obviously there's something in the system that's counting either up or down and we need to find that and freeze it to make it last indefinitely and people's asked me that in the past uh, and I'll say we'll treat it like a timer value and they're like what are you talking about so I went ahead and made those vids on how to find timer values. And I'll go ahead and post that up here. This is really good stuff. You know, how to freeze game timers, things like that, uh, to have infinite time. But also it's good to know the basics and how to find timer values for those values you can't see. Now, those vids that I had, uh, the, you could still see those values. I mean, it was like a race course and uh, you, you can see the timer counting down you know but I just want to do that to get your feet wet but now I'm going to talk about timers where you get got jack you don't have anything it's, uh, here I do have like a glow that fades away so I guess that could be kind of something but sometimes you're not even going to have that you still do it the exact same way and I'm going to show you right now we can use I can still use stasis even without a monster I can just use it on something and I can kind of time it with the glow so if you have something like that to go on that's great if you don't you're just gonna have to guesstimate it the best you can but usually there's some type of indication like uh, when you're building a, a building in some kind of uh, uh, some type of game that you know takes a certain amount of time to build a building you know you gotta wait you gotta last a certain amount of time before it actually completes well you know you have till the building completes that's when you know it's done the timers finished you know there's always going to be some type of indication that the timer is over okay so you have to go by that that is your bar to look at okay there'll always be some type of indication so you're going to have to treat that like the bar okay so here we have a glow and our glow is going to be our indicator so what i want to do is i want to go ahead and put something in stasis and then i'm going to start in a float and the reason we want to use a float value is because most of the time, about 85% of the time, you're going to find your timer values on a float value. And your next best bet will be a double. My, my buddy Steven, he has his bit out of uh, where he found the uh, time in Terraria. And uh, he found that on a double. And that was, that was a hard to find value too. If you want to find a hard to find value, I'm going to go ahead and put the link for that video down in the description. Go take a look at that also. And uh, that's a really good video. He really discusses uh, a, lot of, a lot of techniques in that video. And uh, that's a very extremely hard to find value that he found there. 
So you go take a look at that one also. Well, I just got to thinking here that, you know, this is kind of toward the beginning of the game. So my, my duration on my stasis is only like a couple of seconds. And I got a workbench not far from here. So let me go increase my duration of the stasis. That way I have more time to play with. And I'll be right back with you, okay? Let me go do that right quick. Oh, I forgot to pause the video, didn't I? So I'm here at the workbench, and I'm just increasing these durations right quick. So hang on. See that duration? That gives me more time to screw with. Oops. Alrighty. Let's go do this. All right, so what you want to do is you want to make sure that you've got cheat engine prepared. And what I mean by that is you want to make sure that you have this little box here chick marked uh, this pause the game while scanning. And also, if your game does not offer a feature where you can pause the game, like go to a menu screen like this or something where it just completely pauses the game, it's not running in the background, uh, cheat engine does have uh, features for you that you can use. You can go here to advanced options. And that little button here in the top left, you can click that and it will pause your game. You can use that. Also, you can set in settings uh, to pause the selected process with a hot key. You can use that as well. So you got lots of options to be able to pause the game. And you definitely want to be able to do that with the timer. Especially with the timer you can't see. So let's go ahead and get this started. And I'm going to treat this like it is a... A value that's counting from high to low so when I freeze something I'm gonna act like it's counting from a high value to a low value so I'm gonna be decreasing value as the timers going we just decrease the duration so we should have more time to do that in sometimes that's not always the case sometimes it goes from a low to a high value you just don't know it's trial and error that's all you can do uh, I am starting on the float value because 85% of the time it is going to be on the float value sometimes it could be on a double uh, if you can't find it, uh, you're having a hard time, go to all. Very rarely you'll ever find it on a four byte or just a regular byte, but it does happen, so keep that in mind. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to freeze something. Let me get that thing out of the way. And we do have our glow indicator. Go ahead and pause the game. So we're going to say that went to a higher value. But for right now, we just need to do an unknown value search. We always want to do the search after you know the timer has already engaged. Okay? Don't do it before the timer's engaged because it may not be reading it. But it's better to do it. You'll probably weed it out quicker after the timer's engaged. So we know the timer's engaged now, so now we're just going to go decrease value. You see we had the glow indicator and we increased the duration so it's lasting a lot longer for us to help us out here. I don't really want to do any more. We're already down to 358. So that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and do it again. And I'll tell you also, when you can't find it either going up or down, Sometimes you really can't go by uh, your display either, and I got an example of that in my Spider-Man 2. I'll leave that in the description up there. You can go take a look at it. But I actually had a mission timer. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I actually had a mission bar that was counting down. I mean, you could see the bar decreasing. It was going so you know naturally. I assumed that the you know the internal value was going from a high value to a low value. And I kept doing it over and over, and I could not find this thing to save my life. So I just said, screw it. And I just decided to do it the opposite way. I said, well, screw it. Let's just do it the opposite way. So I went from a low to a high value, like it was going from a zero to a higher value. And I found it. So in essence, the display value and the internal value were doing the exact opposites of each other. So you can't, yeah, I'm telling you, sometimes you can't trust these display values. Okay, so keep that in mind also. That, oh man, I was about to rip my hair out on that one. 
All right, let's go back to it here. I forgot what I was doing. I'm gonna have to let that run down. I don't remember if I hit the button or not. All right, we see it fading off, so let's just do that again. Sorry about that, that was my bad. I get to yakking. There we go. So we're gonna increase value. We're gonna hit unchanged a couple of times. And we got 36, so let's just take a look, see if we see anything in here that might make a little sense to us. Uh, nothing's really hitting me right off. I mean, because it could just literally be anything. Now, what's really interesting is these right here. Usually, usually that would, that, that's looking, let's just see. As you see, we got several things in the glow form. It's decreasing. Decreasing. And it's weeding things out like crazy. So, Plus, we also have that 60-something that's going down. But we know the timer stopped. I'm just curious. Let's just go ahead and these zeros. That's what I like looking for, just plain zeros. That's always a good thing, trying to find these hard to find values here. We're going to go ahead and add this to the address list. I'm just going to go ahead and freeze them all. What, what did it start on? Do you remember? Well, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I couldn't remember what number it started on. Let's just freeze it that way. All right, now we're just going to freeze it by mashing the space key, having all of them highlighted, and let's just see what happens. Does that ever go away? I don't think that 60 has anything to do with it. Alright, normally it's... I think it's normally gone about now. What I like to do... You see the game's still running, even though we can't hear it. The game's still running, so... These things are still coming. So what I want to do... I believe that we have found it. But what I want to do is I want to do these like one at a time. And I'm just going to go from bottom to top. And I'm just going to see what... Okay, that's counting now. Let's let's let that get to zero and see if anything goes away. Huh? Okay, that you see the tickets, you see you, the, whatever that was right there, or that little roll thing right there, that was a display code. Because that wasn't what we were aiming at. We're looking for this guy right here. So let's tick another one and see what happens. Everything's trial and error. You just gotta try different things till you find what you're looking for. Okay, that was the huh. I don't know what that is, but that wasn't the guy. So let's see if we can find the guy this way. Each one of these had their own separate timers. Did you notice that? But it's possible they could all be using the same opcode. They probably are using the, all the same opcode, but we're going to find that out. Okay, that was the other thing. So this must be our guy here. So let's take a look at that one. Because I want, I want to do what I was aiming for, not things that are rounded. But I bet they're all using the same opcode funnels like the health bars would. So, But we're going to find that out. What we're going to do is we're going to find out what writes to this address on our guy. And I'm going to show you how we're going to do this. All right. We're going to start it. And you see we get our opcodes up here. Let's see what's taken away from it right quick. I think it's at 21. No, I don't look good. Yes, yeah, this one right here. So let's go ahead and show that in the disassembler. 
all right so we know we got this location here I'm gonna see if I can bring up maybe another one sometimes this don't work sometimes it does but I'm just gonna try another random one and see if it pops up the same address let's just see Now that's completely different up okay, isn't it? No, it's the same one. Look at that. Look at that. Nope. Exact same address. Look at that. Yep. They're all using the same op code. Could you see here the move SSS XMM1 registry? It's moving the new value into the offset of uh, 8 in the ESI registry. Same thing here. Same address. Same everything. So good. So it don't really matter. We could have used any of them. That's going to take us to the exact place we need to go so we're going to go ahead and show that in December just to make sure and that's where we ended up all right let's take a look see what's going on with it look look right above it here subtraction hmm. I like subtractions <laughs> it's really just subtracting from that registry and that registry is right into this address so this is what I should have put it on in the first place so let's make sure we ain't got tons of them here too so we should be good to go okay good that's what we wanted just our just our glows are what's being affected and that's fine because we want them all froze anyway so that's not going to hinder us at all and the reason I did that is that way I know I can knock out that subtraction and they're all going to stay lit. So let's just see if that works. Replace with code that does nothing. Right click on it. The subtraction. And let's, let's freeze it. And the way you can tell. Did I close that thing down? I sure did, didn't I? Let's uh, bring it back up. These should be frozen. And they are, look. They're not going down at all. Goody goody. We love stuff like that. So let's restore with the original code. And now take a look. They're all going back down. So all we have to do is just void out that subtraction. Easily done. Easily done. Let's go ahead and go to Tools, Auto Assemble. And we're going to hit with the AOB injection. I'm just going to label this duration. Take that mess out. Alright. Now, I know this is assuming that you understand how to do this. So, like I said, I've got plenty of vids that show what AOB's uh, injections are. I go over it step by step. Uh, my buddy Sneaky Mofo, he goes over it step by step, so I'll leave a link for his channel down in the description as well. Uh, like I say, each lesson that you come to here, you know, I'm just building off previous lessons that have already been gone over. So if you are a little bit lost right now, it's totally understandable. Um, I, I will leave the links down in the description for videos that will help you out here. I'll go ahead and put up here also where I actually explain every single thing in this. I'll leave that up here for you to go take a look at if you want to learn what every single thing is here. I talk about everything. Alright, to get back to what we're doing. Now we can go ahead and put the knops in here, but the best way to do it is just to void it out with two slash marks. And that just basically like the code is not even in, in existence. And if that don't work, then we'll go in and put the knobs in. But it should work since we don't have any other codes bouncing off of it. So we should be good to go. So what I want to do is I want to assign this to the current cheat table. And we're going to go ahead and label that infinite status or stasis duration. Save our work always. Make sure none of these are ticked. We want to take a look at them just to make sure. And that should turn to a jump. To jump to our script when we hit it. So, and it does. And we can follow that if we want to and see. And we see here that it's just totally took out our subtraction. That subtraction is gone. It's just got this right here. So. Alright, let's go check her out. Let's check out our script.
And if you look right here, we have infinite duration on our stasis. Let's go really test it out. Let's go find us a monster. I know there's one in here. There he is. <clears throat> Look at that. He ain't coming out of it. He should have been out of it by now. Alright, now let's go turn it off. Let's see if he comes out of it. Oh, and he's out. See, see how quick that was? I'm going to put him back in it without the code. Let's see how long he stays in it. Alright. This is without the code. Look, not very long at all. See that? Not long at all. Let's put him back in it. And let's turn it back on. Just one last check. Look at that. There you go. We got us infinite stasis duration now. And that's a vid. One or more to come in the future, I promise you guys. But one or more to come in the future of how to find hard to find values. I just happened to run across this while I was playing it. And I said, well, I, I have been asked this a lot uh, by you guys. So I just want to go ahead and throw one out there to you. But that was a hard, very hard to find value as you saw. So, uh, but I will have more coming in the future. I promise I got more vids that I've been currently working on that I hadn't finished up yet that I will get out uh, probably within the next week or two. So, uh, just keep, uh, keep a hold of the channel here. You guys take care. Most importantly, please enjoy yourself. That's really what it's all about. Nobody should tell you how you should play your single player games. Now, if you want to take these lessons and you decide to go online with them you please understand that you're doing that at your own risk i can tell you right now you will be banned you will be caught especially if you keep doing it over and over again i don't encourage online cheating at all i wish i'd have stressed that in the uh dark souls vid but you know whatever but like i say it's your life you live it i'm not your dad <laughs> All right, guys, you take care. You cheat the game, fellas, because believe me, doesn't mind cheating you. Take care now.